guys, hope you're all doing great. Um, once again, I want to apologize for not posting this video yesterday. I just started a new job and it's really hard on me. I was super, super tired and not feeling very well. So I apologize. Um, let's start with the question right away. So Michael Miner and Carson Jordan ask me, what is your favorite weapon uh, to use in CHW? Actually, I love all of the weapon. Okay, um, but specifically you're gonna see me doing a lot of, uh, you know, I put a flat sign on somebody and I do a splash on top of the weapon. Um, you're gonna see me throw either a cookie sheet or a, a sign to my opponent and then punch it. Those are like one of the moves that I, I love doing with the weapon. And of course my whip, which is not a big surprise for no one, right? Next question is from Leon Kickout. Love the name, by the way. He asked me, how many championships did you win? I actually won three championship belts in my wrestling career. Two, which was in CHW, the tag team championship. And, well, I mean, like the CHW backyard title. And I won one other belt in the Indies, uh, which you probably saw in Swade's uh, belt video which was a federation called SWR uh, and funny fact about that is do you guys remember real Nathan Natural? well it was the owner of that fed and uh, this is actually how I met the guy I wish I didn't remember him <laughs> yeah yeah not a big loss well kinda but not really so JJ Nitro asked me will CHW have more titles? Um, JJ, we already have four titles. We have the CHW Backyard, held by Innovator, um, the Tag Team Championship belt, held by um, Team High Flyer. What a name, right? And we have the Interstate Championship belt, held by Matt Rage, which means four title. And seeing the roster that we are, I mean, I think think four belt is enough. I mean, if we would have more belt, it would kind of take some prestige away from those belts. It would take um, a lot of, you know, like, importance. So, this is just my opinion though, like, ask CHW if they're gonna do some more titles. I, I honestly don't control that, just giving my opinion here. Ray Carson asked me, Who's gonna win the CHW title between Innovator and Agent Exile um, next Saturday, or this Saturday? Actually, you know what, I'm pretty sure Innovator is gonna keep his championship belt. Why? Um, knowing history that, like, I hate the guy, why would I go for him? He's just a sneaky little bastard. I'm sorry, he, he always seemed to find a way to win. Um, he's gonna like step on his partner to go win a match. Uh, he's gonna use any cheap tactic to win a match. As it opposed to Age in Exile, which I beat the crap out of the guy. He's insane. He's not focused. All he wanna do is burn his opponent. Um, and he's just a big goofball. Between you and me, it's just a big goofball. Sorry to say Age in Exile, but that's my opinion. Facts are facts. Facts are facts. <laughs> uh, next question is actually from Nikki Chance. Nikki asked me, after seeing my match with Executor, do you think I have what it takes to stand face to face in the backyard with you? You know what, Nikki? It never had to do with if you have it or not, if you're good enough or not. I don't care about your talent. I told you you're not important to me. Now, what do I think about your match? I mean, Nikki, you got the shit beat out of you against Executor. Executor, a guy that didn't wrestle since, what, season three? Uh, he was rusty. He's a little squeak. He's so little compared to you. So, like, is that really proving anything? I mean, no, it doesn't prove anything. It's just as good as Rob Banks. Executor, Rob Banks. Same thing, it's easy to beat, it's just a little peep squeak. what do you want me to say? It wasn't really impressive, you know, like, yeah, you, you had your move in, like, I think you're a solid wrestler, and that I already, like, told you so many times, you got some big move, 
uh, your big booth, your finisher, I don't even know how you call that thing, the lockout or whatever oh, stupid name you're gonna invent now. But uh, yeah, you have what it take to face me in the back here, you know, just don't have what it take as in a belt or any importance for me to face you and waste my time, Nikki. So that's what I had to say about that. Now guys, I want to talk to you about a little something. Be sure you're going to watch this Saturday's match because I promise and I promise I cannot say that word enough that you are going to love the announcement at the end of this match. So stay tuned, Maddie Boy have some awesome news for you guys. So I'll see you all later. Take care. Ciao.